Hi guys! In today's video I'm going to be showing you what food I eat on the trail. And I've got about a few days food in front of me. How much you would take on a trail with you and um, yeah, what are your options basically. So let's start with breakfast. What I usually eat for breakfast are these oats, multi-fruit oats. Um, this one is from Quaker. I like them in little packages. Uh, I usually have one or two depending on how hungry I am in the morning. Uh, you just add boiling water to it and let it sit for a little bit. In about five minutes it's ready and um, then you have the most delicious breakfast ever in my opinion. Um, for coffee, I have these coffee beans that I um, usually eat one or two in the morning before my coffee is ready. Or if I don't have time to boil uh, water for coffee, I have these beans on the go. So they're basically covered chocolate, um, chocolate covered coffee beans. And uh, for normal coffee, I have these little sachets. And uh, this is cheap coffee, but you can have them from different brands. Um, I I could only find these ones when I bought them. So they're just you just add water. You know how how it works. Um, then for dinner, I usually have these packet meals. So there's different brands again um, available. I like to have different types of meals. So here I've got macaroni, I've got carbonara, um, I've got chicken and mushroom pasta, I've got tomato mozzarella pasta, and I've got some couscous with vegetables. And um, so all these different types of meals, you can buy them in the supermarket. And um, why I like them is so they're nice and light. They're not as nutritious, but they will fill you up at night. And um, so you don't get hungry that much. Um, they're also ready easily. And if you really, really wanted to, you can put the water in the sachets. Um, and so it saves you on dishes as well. And what I have as a starter is soup. <laughs> or if I'm a little bit cold, I have soup or tea. These are just minute soups. Um, you can just buy them in these packages, um, like these ones. So I usually take them out of the packet. So you just left with these little sachets, light and easy. Or, you know, just some tea. I uh, have different varieties of tea with me all the time, um, just because I like to have the variety. And then for snacks, I have Snickers. It's a very popular, a trail snack at the moment because it uh, contains nuts and nuts are supposed to be nutritious so it's um, the most calories you can find in a bar <laughs> it's Snickers and it's um, small you can have the big ones too but I prefer the small ones because they're nice and easy to pack away and then you have um, nut and chocolate bars uh, dried fruit bars and what I also like is the oat bars so because they're very nutritious and they will keep you going. Um, another snack is trail mix. So I like to mix different types of uh, trail mixes. So I've got dried fruits, um, dried banana chips, um, dried nuts, sorry, not dried nuts, um, nuts as well, um, and all different types of um, trail mix. And I put it all together in a bag and that's about it. Um, for lunch, I sometimes have one of these. Sometimes I have instant noodles in different varieties. Uh, but most of the time, I take a lot of these bars and I have uh, about five or six of them during the day. And then at night, I have uh, one of these. So these are supposed to be for one or two people. So it's a very good portion to have at night. And that's how I get my calories. Um... If you like milk in your coffee, what I have here is an option. <laughs> this is milk powder and you can you can buy a box of milk powder and put, her, put them in these bags and that way you will have milk to put in your coffee. Um, yeah, you just have to um, read the packets to see how much powder you have to add to your water to get the right mix of milk and water. 
uh, you have lots of varieties of these bars and uh, even though I only have two different types here I usually bring about five or six different types um, and that's about it guys I hope you enjoyed this video and if you want to know more um, I'll probably put out some recipes and I'll probably put some demonstration videos in here as well on my channel uh, so you can see how I actually prepare my food yay see you later yeah.